We hope you enjoy the next presentation. Hello friends. In this video, I'm going to explain about the SSH connectivity to your Windows, uh, to your Ubuntu virtual machine from your Windows operating system. Let's uh, see uh, uh, what is the SSH before that. So SSH is basically a secure connection to your remote computer's command line shell. It first authenticates the user and then it uh, uses the encryption algorithm to transact the data. Let's uh, find out the procedure in simple steps. The first step is actually to find out if you if you have a SSH server running in your system uh, using a command uh, which is uh, you can use the command sudo systemctl status ssh uh, we'll see that this command uh, when you issue it will uh, tell if the ssh server is running or not so in my case I have already installed and I, I have it running so in case if this is not there so you may have to install it and the command to do that uh, command to install is actually I uh, given it here so uh, you can use this command to install uh, uh, the SSH server in your system and then uh, once you do that you can uh, also you may have to enable that enable the SSH server in your system using this command sudo system enable SSH. I'll let me do that as well. I have done that, so it's uh, currently enabled and next one is actually in case uh, uh, find out whether the firewall is running in your system so let's uh, find out if the firewall is running in the system using the command sudo u unified firewall UFW status so it's currently inactive in case if it is active so then you have to allow the SSH connection using this uh, command sudo UFW allow SSH which uh, makes the firewall to allow any SSH connectivity into your Ubuntu Linux the next step is actually to enable the <coughs> port number for 22 which is the TCP port number that is being used by the SSH in your virtual box manager so let's uh, do that so go to your virtual box manager Go to your virtual box manager, click settings, then go to the network and then go to the adapter one and then you click on the advanced, then click put forwarding and then you have to enable, <coughs> you have to give this command uh, which is uh, This is for the SSH protocol. This is uh, you can name this as SSH, and the protocol that uh, need to be used is TCP, which is which comes by default. Host port you can keep it as 2222, which is a host port which you can use, and the guest port is actually 22. You can keep that as uh, 22 because that is the standard port. And then press OK which will actually enable the port number uh, that is the SSH connectivity uh, through your virtual box okay so now you can come back uh, to your uh, windows and there is a, a software called put putty uh, that you can install uh, uh, from the internet using the uh, putty So you can uh, click on to this and then you can uh, download the, the software download putty and you can install it into your uh, uh, windows once you window uh, once you have installed you just click on to that so you, it will open up like this and then uh, you uh, give a local host and then say 2222 that's the port number that we had given for source port and then make sure this connection type is at SSH and then uh, click open so it will ask for the uh, username and password 
so once you give so you should be able to get the uh, command line shell of the uh, ubuntu linux that is running as a guest operating system in your windows